It is 48 degrees outside, which is awesome, but a little brisk. I did the brisk. We're gonna feed the animals. I've already fed the dogs and cats. We're gonna do the chickens, pigs, ducks. Then we'll feed the human animals before they go to school. It's not as crazy as like a giant red ball. Look at that. It's nuts. I know that there's more than three eggs from yesterday, but I've got to find them. Sometimes it's a fun game of where did they lay their eggs. You can't poop in here, sir. Come on, let's poop out here. Come on. No, 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 no. No! Now we have no eggs. Because the dogs got them. So funny. Because I have to wrestle the gate to get in and out. Okay, but you have to come eat or drink some chocolate milk with collagen, please. I hate this driveway, like it goes out onto a really busy highway. Kids are off safe. Foxy can go potty. Go get Benny some long grass. So this morning before Bella gets here, I want to get the pizza sauce made up and canned. Look at our pumpkins. Hello pumpkins. Memphis has a football game this afternoon. Hey mama. So I wanna have everything done before all of that. First, we're gonna get ready for the day because looking like this is not fantastic. Freya, Thor! Kitty, 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 kitty! There's two little orange kitties that I don't know where they're at. Freya is a weird cat. Come here, Freya. She's a ginger. She's just sitting right here. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Come on here, Ball. Where's Thor? Thor, kitty. Thor is the. There he is. Hi, army boy. Thor is the boy orange kitty, and he's very, very army. Here you go. Here, Ball got dropped off here. He's not. He's not actually Mama's baby, but she took him in and nursed him. So I've been on a call with my kids and their dad for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes. I guess that's useless information really, but I got some laundry done. Oh, I was just telling you that because I hadn't like recorded anything. I've got some laundry done. I'm finishing this sign that I was working on so I can go ahead and get the frame put on it and then get it shipped out. And then we will do this pizza sauce, homemade pizza sauce. And we will go out to the garden and see if those tomatoes that were almost ripe the other day, <clears throat> see if those are ready to come in. And I'll double this pizza sauce batch because I know um, the kids will want pizza tonight. Memphis has a football game. So it'll be something easy that we can just throw together and the kids could warm it up as they come home, as we all trickle home. So it'll be simple. And then I want a can. I want to uh, preserve some of it to keep for later. You could also freeze it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make up the pizza sauce and I'll freeze it. Save my jars for other stuff. Pizza sauce would be a good one to freeze because you're not like losing the integrity of anything. It's just like a, a sauce, you know what I mean? Potatoes with ground beef and uh, homegrown tomatoes out of the garden for lunch for both my adult kids are home right now. Jay has today off. He he works um, he works like half the week because he works really long shifts when he does work. 
So he works like, I don't know, three days on, four days off, and then four days on, three days off. Going to start blanching our tomatoes. I'm gonna get some garlic and uh, onion going. Let's switch burners here. I'm gonna get some garlic and onion going. I usually use like two or three tablespoons of olive oil, and then you're gonna use five, four, five, six garden tomatoes, depending on how big they are. Our tomatoes here, and to blanch them, get a better knife than I have first. Just cut an X in the bottom of them like this, and then you're gonna blanch them for, I don't know, about a minute or until you like can see the skin start coming off. Simple lunch, and at some point today, I need to find a pair of jeans that fit me. Since I stopped doing keto, um, clearly I've gained some weight. However, um, more than what I had anticipated, only because I went from never eating sugar, never eating bread, uh, never eating carbs, to eating all of those things. Like, no, I didn't like um, gradually go back into it and so that is not what you want to do so I need to go find some fat girl jeans that I can wear to Memphis's football game until we get things back on track take this to Bella real quick everything over here and so I'm going to take out the stem first while I have it all still intact because the skin is still on there, like holding it all together. And then just peel the skin off. And we'll give this skin to the animals so it's not wasted. And then just, you can cut it as big or as small as you want. I think four pieces is probably good enough because um, you're gonna blend this up at the end anyways. If you don't have a, a blender, you can mash it various other ways or you could just leave it chunky. It's gonna be, up to you. We have our tomatoes, our garlic, our onion. We are going to turn this on medium heat. And then I'm going to grab our oregano and basil and um, some sugar. The sauce. You're going to let it simmer, I mean, for probably an hour until it gets to the consistency that you want. Some people like thicken it with cornstarch. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> just just um, let it simmer down. And it's, so it's something that you definitely need to be doing when you have plenty of time to let it simmer down. Get on my website and put this pizza sauce recipe on there for you. And then I'm gonna process these apples while our stuff is simmering. Bella is playing with Foxy and Harry Pepper and watching Super Kitties. What's this called, Bella? Super Kitties? Yes. Super, it's on Disney. Super Kitties, I think is what it's called. Then when Jake or one of the boys gets home, I'll have them take these scraps out to the pigs and chickens. I'm gonna throw those apples in a big bowl of water. With your pizza sauce. Pizza sauce is pretty thin. I mean, I guess it just depends on how you like. But you can see, this has been simmering for probably 30 minutes, but you can see that a lot of the liquid has simmered off of here. But now we are going to blend this all together um, so we have a better idea of like how thin it really is. My kids will literally not eat it like this, so we're gonna blend ours with one of these bad boys. Super kitties! So I wanna show you that now it's got a little bit different consistency than it did. It's much creamier than it was before. Before, with the chunks still in there, it was very like loose and runny, 
um, with the chunks in it, you know what I mean? So putting it together is gonna give us a better idea of how thick the sauce is. So we're about done. I would say probably 10 or 15 more minutes of simmering. We're gonna wipe these. Okay, so I did not get to making up the pizza like I wanted to. We're gonna go to Memphis's football game right now and it starts like right now. It's, it's only 4 p.m. So we'll be home by like six-ish or whatever. So half that stuff's already made up. I just need to brown the hamburger. So it'll be super simple. And then we will make those muffins for tomorrow. Bella won't be at the house tomorrow until later in the afternoon. Her dad works a weird kind of like midnighty shift. And so um, we can get a lot of stuff done. Anyways, stay tuned. You might get a little bit of football footage because if you don't know, my little Memphis, and I'm not even being like, He's my kid, he's so wonderful. He literally is just so good at sports. Baseball is his like number one gig, but he's also really good at football. So it'll be fun to watch him. I can't see it. And it's just in the back. Did you get rent? I just got the ball. Here, it's got it. You just got it. It's yards though. Look at all my friends. Look at all my So many bees. Okay, let's find some tomatoes. Really sad about my garden spider. She was getting so big. You see these tomatoes? All tomatoes have like this knuckle right here. And that's where you should just push on it and it should come off right there easily. Bush beans are my favorite. I mean, I grow bush and pole beans, but I prefer bush beans. This, there's a beet right here. I want to see if it goes to seed. I was watching Danny and Wanda on their live the other night. And uh, they said theirs haven't bloomed yet either. I mean, there's just none. There's no blooms on them. 